leg, bring your feet together. So complaints have been just stiff and anxious and yeah, shoveling and couches and all sorts of carnage happening to our bodies and our minds. So let's unwind. Let's take our toes out and our heels. Push down through the feet, activate those legs, make your thighs and your glutes tighter. Tailbone down, lengthen through the crown, nice and tall, draw in through the center and breathe. <sighs> On the exhale, push down deeper, tail down, lengthen tall and breathe. And let's take the shoulders around and down. And roll and down and round and down and roll and down. Give me one arm, scoop it in, inhale, open, flare the fingers out and exhale to the back. Other side, scoop up and away. Give me one more each side. And lift. And away. Well done. So we're going to check your alignment, knees over toes. Come down into a nice squat. Up, hand on hip. Inhale, flaring the ribs, reach the fingers. Exhale, up and reach. Exhale, up and reach. Down, up and reach. And give me one more. Down, up and reach. This time we're down and push back with the hands, raise to the toes. We're going to shorten our little warm up to fit more in. Down, push up. Wide across the chest and flare up. Two, push. And one, push. Well done. We're going to kick across. So nicely anchored down through the foot. Soccer ball kick. Roll the toe in and back on the angle. So big toes out and roll the toe in and back. Kick the ball, roll in and back. Kick, and back. Kick, back, kick, back. Two more, and back, kick. And changing sides, you can activate down through that leg, and kick, <laughs> and roll in. Kick, keep it going, keep tall, lengthen through the crown, centre's working, two, and one. Well done, take that to curtsy, foot behind, and we're up. foot behind. And we can tuck that toe under, reach back further, and challenge our return. So we're down, and <laughs> bring it up, cross across the opposite hand. Opposite hand, you might find you more have a bit of more central balance. <laughs> Opposite hand. <laughs> Two more. I'm not sure I have it. Nearly. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be the queen. <laughs> Legs are parallel. Press on down to the rim of the mat. We'll just get some nice rotation through the upper body. So tuck, take the weight onto those toes. We're going to turn the upper body. Keep those head lights to me. And then come through. Turn the other way. Hold. Back into the centre. Heels down. Loop the fingers behind the head, but our shoulders are low. Onto these toes. Take the elbow to the back. Hold it together. And come through to the other side. And centred. Keep the hands here. So we're going to take a knee up, just keeping really that lovely feeling of nice, lifted, open through the upper body. Knee, knee, lift. Let's go faster for eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So we're going to take a knee up. I'm going to ask you if you can dip the elbow forward, bring it back up, and lower the foot. Lift, dip. Whoosh, up and down, lift, dip, up and lower. So it's a quite a nice challenge to our balance. It also throws our vestibular system in an ear around. You feel that challenge. Two more, dip, lift, and down. One more, up, dip, lift, and down. Well done, onto the floor. 
Oh, let's go knees. Let's go surfing. So we're going to come onto our knees. Tailbone down, lengthen through the crown, hands out wide. So we're going to shift the weight onto one knee. Push down through that knee, take the toe off. We're just going to balance and hold here. Breathe. Keep the height through the crown, pushing that knee down into the mat. Come to the other side. Shift across, push down through the knee. Float the foot. Balance. Balance. And uh, across. Push down. Float. Hold. 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 And down. Give me one more. Across. Push down through the knee. Float. Hold. 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 And release the arms. Just give yourself a nice little shoulder roll. We're going to take that again, but we're going to go down onto our side. So we begin by floating. Well, balance and hover. And then we're going to control ourselves slowly to the floor and extend the top leg long. Now it's quite easy here to be sitting back with the hip. Squeeze your bottom. Open the front of the hips out. We've got this nice long leg. Give me two side lifts. One. Two. Give me two knee ins. Push it out. In. Push it out. Well done. We're going to balance up to roll off those fingers. Balance. And we come to the other side. Shift across. Float. Balance, balance, balance. Slowly down. And extend that leg. Opening these hips. We go for two lifts. Two knees in. And then balance up. Roll those fingers. Balance. One more each side. Let's surf. Hover, slowly down, and extend through the foot. Give me two side lifts. Two knees in, and long. In, and long. Roll off the fingers. Up we come. One more. Balance. Float, hover, slowly down. Extend that leg. Give me two lifts. Two knees in. Well done, foot back, rolling up. We did it, let's come down onto our backs now. Well done. Long through the back of the neck, tuck your shoulder blades underneath so you're open across the chest. Lift up your hips and lengthen far from the shoulders and draw in through that lower tummy. We're going to take our hands to ceiling and we're going to climb the rope. Climbing up, two, three, four, lower down. Two, three, four. Climb the rope. Two, three, four, and down. Two, hands on hips. Pause with our legs or line dance. Lift one, pause, lift the other, and lower, and lower. Repeat, lift, lift, lower. Back to the hands, climbing up, two, three, four, down. Let's go up, two, three, four, down. Hands to hips, legs lift, lift, lower, lower. Again, up, up, lower. One more round, hands, climb, two, three, four, down. Let's go up. Two, three, four, and down. Hands to hips, lift, lift, lower. Good control. Again, lift, lift, lower, lower. Hands to ceiling. Well done. So we're just gonna do another kind of combo thing. Want us to do a lift up into bridge. We want us to push down through the feet, lift your hips up, up into a flat lift, up into bridge, but we're gonna roll down through the spine. So we're going to mobilise that back, block by block, rolling down to the floor. Repeat, lift and rolling down, block by block, down to the floor. We have our hands to ceiling and that flows us nicely into reach long. And in, reach, and in, and in. Reach. Hands up, we're going to go back into bridge. Lift and roll it down, block by block. Give me one more. Lift those hips, roll it down, block 
by little look. Pause, we're reaching along. And in. Long. And in. Reach. And reach. With me one more round. Bridge, lift. Roll it down. Hopefully you're feeling a little smoother each time we revisit this. Up, rolling down. And we reach long our final four. And three. And two. And one. Loop the fingers together. Let's bring those behind the back of the head. So we've got nice support to our back of the neck. We're going to crisscross. We're going to curl up and over, elbow towards me, and control it down. We'll do a couple of these and I'll start to add optional layers in. Up and across. And down. First layer. Up and across. Let's hold. We've got this leg up. Extend it long. Looking down at that leg. Bring it back to the elbow and lower, changing sides. Up and over, reach the foot long, and in, and lower. Give me two more, across, long, in, and switch. One more, across, long, switch, and lower. Right, this time we're gonna go back to more of a pure crisscross. So we're gonna come up, Elbow to knee, we're going to stay up here, switch sides, but then lower down. We played with this idea last week where we get this rolling circle movement of the head. So we're up to one knee, stay up to cross, but we lower down and back. And you'll start to really feel that you're going in a one-way circle. So stick to this one-way circle. Got one more circle as we come over, elbow to knee, staying up to cross. And we lower down and pause, pause, pause. Reverse for four. Opposite. Elbow to knee. Staying up as we cross and lower. Opening back. Three more circles. Over. Stay up to cross. And down. Opening out. Keep it going. Cross. Up and over. Lower. And around. One more circle. Go. And across and down and away like it we might come back and play there again so we're going to bring our feet together hands on hips and let's just play with this hip movement for now so give me a couple of singles i'm going to take a knee open to the side and bring it back in and a knee open and in two more so you've got option of elbows from the ground as well to challenge your balance a little more and in. Let's just do some double knees. So both knees open. We're looking for even speed and control to coordinate left and right sides. And we open. And close. Two more here. <coughs> One more. Well done. Line dancing. One knee open and the other. And close, and close, open, open, close, close, reverse, open, open, close, close, last circle, open, open, close, and close, legend. So our feet are quite close together at the moment, just bring them back out into shoulder width apart. Arms beside you, you may need to retuck those shoulders under. So we have that nice open chest. I want us to have a go at doing some single leg bridges. If you feel more confident with two legs down, that's fine. You can do the same number of reps. We're going to take one leg to tabletop. I'm going to do five little booster lifts. So we're going to boost her up, but control a little bit better on the way down. Booster and control. We've got three more here. Boost and lower. Boost and lower. Boost. And lower, let's change sides, foot down, other foot, ready, go, pushing into the mat, finding this glute, wake it up, and lower, and three, two, and one, and lower, well done, move the fingers again, hello front abdominals, once again we've missed you, we're going to curl up centre, you're looking straight down in the middle of your legs, but we have this nice support for our necks. We're going to extend one leg, 
and then bring it back in. And extend the other leg and bring it back in. Lower the upper body, lift the upper body, pause. This time line dancing, we lift up and up and lower and lower. Lower the upper body, lift the upper body, extending long and in, long and in, lower, lift, lifting up, line dance, up, lower, two more rounds, touch that head down, lift again, we go long through the leg and back in, long through the leg, back in, upper body lower, final lift, line dance, up, up, lower, lower, and down, oh, good job, all right. We're going to take right hand to ceiling and bring up the left leg so we have opposites. Okay, we're going to do a bit of a pattern here as well. Your focus, neutral spine, keep that nice connection through the low back. So we're going to open out to the side, keeping those hips centered, keeping them shining to ceiling and in. And then we're going to take those same limbs long and in. to the side. Just opening as far as you can control. Keep your centre super glued to the mat and controlling that nice hold of our neutral spine. <coughs> Open and in and long. So we're feeling nice and solid through our strength from centre. One more here. And close. And long. And in. Change sides for me. So the opposites are up. And repeating the same. Let's go side and in and long and in. Keep that going. So remember sometimes left and right don't always feel the same. Keeping centered, headlights to ceiling. Last round. Well done. Bring both knees in. You give yourself a little massage to the small of the back, and we want our lower back to go down into imprinted spine. So we're going to let that lower back settle down nicely. Let your knees come apart slightly so your feet can come together. We're going to call these our Velcro feet. So the base of the big toe, Velcro together. It's kind of easier to imagine when you've got socks on, isn't it? And you've got the heels velcroing together. So we've got firm contact in those two points of our feet. We're going to take our hands to the side of the thigh and we're going to use pushing onto our connection of hand onto thigh to give us some extra strength here. So to start with, we're just going to use our hands to almost push our legs up towards the ceiling. And let those knees come in again. So you've got hold of these legs. More of a hamstring stretch for this one. We're pressing up. And in, give me one more here. Push up and in. And we're gonna bring the upper body forward into this. It helps strengthen the upper abdominals. So curl forward, tuck that rib cage down into these abdominals. And this time you might feel like you're just able to lower our angle a little bit. We have nice strength here. You're gonna use your power through the feet, the connection of upper to lower body, and bring it in. Can we stay up here? Can we do three more? Exhale, push away and bring it in. We can play with that level we reach out because you can feel that extra strength we gain through the front and in. Lower the head down and breathe for me. I think we can find one more round there. Yes! Yes. <laughs> yeah. <Sure. laughs> okay. So we'll do four more with our head curl forward. So draw it up, tuck in that rib cage, pull through that center and exhale, push and in. Use those connections. Push and in. We've got two more. Push and in. One more. Squeeze. Push and in. Well done. Just give yourself a little roll, roll, roll again. Okay, stretch up nice and long for me. Reach it out. We're going to roll ourselves up into sitting. So we're going to bring arms to ceiling. Curl forward. Lift. Up, 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 up. And come forward for a stretch. So just give your legs a little bit of a paddle. Wrap around your toes. Take all that tension out of the back. 
Well done. So we're going to come down. We're just going to do a very short side series today. So on our side, lengthen through that top waist, pull in through our sensors. Well done. Sorry, I was asking questions. <laughs> we're going to pop that top leg up, keeping it bent. We're going to let bent leg come forward and push behind. So nothing in the upper body is moving. Bent knee drifts forward. As we push back, this is the good stuff. Glutes squeeze, front of hip opens. And forward. And push back. This time let's add some extra. We're gonna come forward, extend the foot, pull that full leg down to the bottom of the mat. Scoop it, knee forward, pull down. Scoop. Reach, pull with length. One more, bend, reach, pull. Keep it here, four knees in, in, push it out. In, push it up. Two, and one, long leg, both long legs. All right, so wriggle yourself into torpedo. Make yourself lovely and long. We're gonna start with our tongs. We're gonna open these legs and then close and squeeze them together. You can also think that Velcro feet, those contact through the same two points and squeeze. Open, close, squeeze. Open, close, squeeze. Open, squeeze. Open, squeeze. Give me one more before we take this into forward back scissors and switch well done use the centers inhale one way exhale the other keep the length reach and switch couple more go and reach and then curl it in well done a little short series so we can fit it all in give yourself a little knuckle rub for those glutes you might find today you want your hand on that front leg, hand to ceiling or hand on that rib cage. Inhale, exhale, and open. So find that stretch. Those sleepless nights or lots of anxiety and stress, that's gonna hit you into that middle of the back. So just be gentle here. Use your breath. And wriggle around a little bit. Just find your way through those sticky bits. Feel the feels. You might find there's an arc up past the head. And reaching there helps you find the stretch you're looking for. Moving around. One more. Well done. Just spin that round to the other side. So again, just a nice little short side series. Finding that activation. Give us that stretch out. Lengthen through that top waist, push that hip away so they're stacked nicely. We're going to pop that top leg and we're going to keep it bent, lift it, drift forward. The good stuff's here at the back. Push back, feel the front of the hip open, the glute work, and release. To push back, squeeze, and release. Push. This time, knee forward, extend the leg, pull down to the bottom of the mat, find that length, bend, reach, pull back. Bend, reach, pull, two more. Bend, 
reach. Long leg. We're going to bring the knee in. Push it back out. In. Push it out. Three. Two. Give me one. We're going to go long leg on top. Bottom leg underneath. Wriggle now into torpedo. Be as long as you can be. Fingertips to feet. And we're going to start with our tongue. We're going to open these legs. Close and squeeze. Velcro feet. And open. Close. Squeeze. Open. Close. Squeeze. Open. And squeeze. Couple more. Open. Squeeze. You want to take that into long leg scissors. Now one leg back. One leg forward. Switch and reach. Hold that balance in the center. Zip up. Tighten your belt. Solid hold. Reach. And reach. And two. And one. And then bring it in. Well done. Arm openings to this side. So grab hold or reach forward. Inhale to ceiling. And exhale and at the top of this side. Rotate open. Use your breath. Fill up the lungs again. Exhale. Open that rib cage. Turn that breastbone to the ceiling. Give yourself a nice big spinal twist. Off one last one there. Well done. From here, we're going to come onto all fours. We're going to stack ourselves nicely, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, pull in through the lower tummy. Where do we have that nice? Deep activation. I want to feel those connections through our anterior sling that crisscrosses and across the back. So think about which is your right hand. Sometimes it can be quite complicated. So I'm going to stare at my right hand, push down hard through my right hand and my left knee. I'm going to push down hard through my opposites. I'm going to feel the other two sides. They're going to lighten off that compression, they're gonna lighten and feel like they wanna float. I'm gonna let them float. I'm gonna catch here and hold my balance. Balance, hold, hold. And we'll take that to the other side. Now, left hand to right knee, pushing firmly down through those opposites. Feel the other sides lighten and then you can lift them. Hold, balance, balance. Hold, and lower. Switch across again. So right hand, left knee, press down. Feel them lighten before you lift, then take the lift. Now hold here, hold, hold. This time we're gonna stretch long. Reaching out through the hand, reach long through the leg. Hold, hold. Come back into hover and balance. Hold, hold, lower. Changing sides, good job. Pushing down, firmly pressing through the opposites. They lighten. They lift. I'm floating from the float. I'm going to reach long. Extend. Length. Come back into floating. Hover, hover, hover. And lower. Just one more each side. Push down. Feel it lighten. We're going to hover. Balance. Extending long. Reach. Reach. 
into balance. Hold, hold, bend lower. Last one, pushing down, feel it lighten. Hover, little float. Take it long, and I'll get you to stay out here for me. Keep this nice length. We're gonna come frog-like, elbow to waist, knee to waist, and then reach long. One more, bring it into the sides. And reach long, come in and change sides. We start long, in like a frog, and out, in like a frog, out, and in. Two more, long, frog, long, frog, and in. Last set, long, frog, long, frog, and in. Well done, Steve. Okay. We're going to play. We can find our elbows. We're going to drop an elbow to the floor and bring it. And tap your elbow and lift. This time we're going to tap an elbow and we're going to extend that leg so it really helps us open to that side, reaching along through that foot and then we're in. Elbow, extend the leg, reaching along. And in. Now we can start to make that quite a smooth operation. As we lower, we can extend the leg at the same time. And then we can bring it back in together. And reach. And in. If you want to come to the next step, we're going to come down onto our side. Long reach through the leg. And we lift that top hand. So we're on a side balance. If we squeeze this glute to open the front of the hips, we come more into that side reach. And bonus points if you want to reach your eyes to the ceiling. We're getting that extended balance. And we come back in. We'll try that to the other side. So down on the elbow, reach through that leg. Push through that foot. Take the hand to the ceiling. Keep that reach through the foot. Eyes up as an option. And in. We go one more each side. We come down, extending through that foot, hand to ceiling. Reach. And in. Last one. And lower. Push that leg long for me. Lengthening that leg, that's going to help you find those glutes. Reach. Hold. And in. Well done. Come down on your elbows for me. We'll give our wrists a little break. Key thing here is not to rest to the elbows. Push down through the elbows. Lifting that breastbone. And we want to have equal weight through these elbows. As we slide the leg back and lift. And lower. And in. So your goal is can we hold that stable upper body position? Can we keep equal weight through these arms? Down and in. Keep pressing through those elbows. Slide, lift and in. Slide, lift and in. Two more. And in. Last one. Slide, lift. Staying here on our elbows. Can we turn back over one foot? And the other. And toe. And in. Push back. And back. And in. And in. Push back. And back. And in. Now pause. If you're going back in a, like in a circle, the same leg each time, try to reverse your circle. We'll reach back with the opposite leg first. Then long. And in. And in. We've got two to go. Push back and back and in. One last one, team. Go. And push and in. And in. So back. So release those wrists. Give yourself a little hip wriggle. And we're just going to find a few fast twitch fibers. Let's activate, give our body the element of surprise, and for that we're going to find our claws. We're going to launch up into our superhero, we're going to catch our balance. So we're going to fly. Catch the balance. If you have the wibble wobbles, stabilize and claw it back in. Opposite side, reach, stabilize, and 
bring it in. And launch. got four to go. This time we're going to add in a little arched back tuck under. So we're going to stay up, reach long, and we're going to bring our knee and elbow in under the table, push up, lift into catch, tuck in, tuck in, tuck in, bring it out again, and down and lower. Okay, other side, reach, hold the balance, tuck in under the table, push, lift, lift, and reach long, and uh, give me two more, team. Let's go. Reach. Tuck in and under. Push. Tuck in the ribs. Tuck in the tummy. And long. And down. We've got one last one. And lift. Tucking under. And long. And back in. Well done. So let's play with a little thread the needle that opens into a side balance as well because I think that kind of reaching up and mobilizing that mid back is pretty key right now. So take a hand, kind of thread the needle, no nice balls to roll on or anything that just shows you can do it without reaching through. And then let's begin the elbow first, get as far around rotated as you can, then take full fingertip stretch, pause here. Now I know none of you are looking at me, trust me to take that top leg out long. Toe to floor if you wish. You can float the toe if you wish. Squeeze your bottom, make sure the hips are open. And we're going to take that hand past the head, past the ear, and we're going to breathe in and flare those open ribs, giving yourself a little arch, a little lean. And then bring those hands back up and take the whole body back in and ready for the other side. Well done, <laughs> reach through. And let's go, let's open for elbow. Let's open for hand, and here we can take that top leg long. So toe on floor, or toe can float. We take the hand past the head, now breathe in a flare, the top rib cage wide. And up, and we bring it in. We'll go one more each side. Thread the needle. Open with elbow, open with fingers, slide the leg. Reaching out into that side reach and hold, side stretch, breathing in, arch, 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 and hand up, taking it in, well done, last one, reach, elbow, hand ceiling, and from here we can slide, extend long, reach through, reach through the leg, we can reach, overreach to the top of our body, breathe in, extend and widen the ribs, and we're up, and we're in. Well done. Yay. I want to have us a nice little um, stretch out again through the rest of the body before we get set it up for uh, relaxation. So if we come up into a downward dog, we get that nice big stretch down through the back of back and legs and calves in particular. So if we tuck our toes and lift yourself up. So pushing through those hands, tall on the tippy toes. And we're gonna come down with one heel. So give yourself that nice big reach, nice big stretch. Tall on the toes and down on the other heel. Tall on both toes down through these heels and walk your hands through back towards the toes and we'll roll ourselves up tail down stack the blocks up we go and you can stay where you are just going to bring your knees down we're going to hold across elbow and hold and just taking the upper body rotation and to breathe in and come back down to switch sides and breathe in. And leave the body just hang down. Lower the head, hands are heavy. And we'll roll ourselves back up again. We straighten the legs, tail down. And stack the spine like that Lego tower. We go block by block.